Hello and welcome. This video will cover how to build our first job. We'll keep this demonstration nice and simple covering more advanced features in following videos. In this example, we'll be working with a movie ratings data warehouse to capture the average rating of each movie by state. To do this, we will be joining two tables from our data warehouse, calculating the average rating by state using an aggregate component, and then saving it to a separate table in our data warehouse. Let's get started. I'll first right click within our repository job designs folder tree and select create job. I'll give it a name and a brief purpose. Let's bring in two database table definitions from the metadata repository that contain the source data we need. I've got a fact table containing ratings data and a dimension table of users that includes the state information. I'll drag and drop each of them into our design workspace. And since these are generic metadata table definitions, as I drop each one into the design workspace, I need to specify them as MySQL input source components. Next, we need a team map as a way to join these two source components. As we demonstrated in previous videos, I can go to my components palette on the right and search for my component, or I can click inside the design workspace and begin typing and select it to bring it into my job flow. Let's connect my data using my team app. As demonstrated in previous videos, I can right click and connect using the row function, or I can just drag and stretch my connectors using these little icons beside my components. As I go, I'll label my connectors by doing a slow double click on each existing label. I can also rename my components. This helps me better identify my tables when configuring my team app once my job flow is built. The third component we want is an aggregator, which will calculate the average rating by state. I'll click within my design workspace again and search aggregate to locate and select my new component. I'll connect it to my team app and give my output a name. The last thing we need is our target table where we want all of our result data to end up. So let's bring in the metadata for my target table and specify this as a MySQL output component and connect it to the rest of my flow. Now that we have all of the pieces of the job placed and connected, we must configure the components to handle the data flow correctly. First, we will configure the T map by joining the ratings in to the lookup state. We can link the two data sets by dragging the user ID from the ratings in table to the ID field in the lookup states table. When my tables are joined, we'll grab the movie ID and rating field from the ratings in table and the state field from the lookup state table, dragging them into the AG output table. This creates the output data set that will drive the rest of my flow. I'll click OK. And next, we need to configure the aggregator. To do that, I first need to confirm the aggregator schema matches the defined outputs of the component. We want to make sure that the movie ID and state columns are moved over into my aggregator output, and that a column is available to hold the data that we're aggregating. It's labeled average underscore rating. Since this column is a calculated average, it needs to account for decimals, so the data type is float, with a length of 5 and a precision of 3. That looks perfect, so I'll click OK. Now with our schema set, we can configure the aggregator to calculate our average rating. We want to group by movie ID and state, and for our operations, we want to set our output column to be average underscore rating, the column we just confirmed in our output schema, set the function to average, and we're averaging the ratings field. And I already have my target source mapped to my MySQL target table, so this job is ready to go. Let's document the flow with a title. I'll select my flow, go within the Components tab, select Show Subjob Title, and call it Load Average Rating by State. Let's run this job. I can go into my Run tab within my Design Palette and complete a basic run. And it ran smoothly. Thank you for watching this video covering how to build a simple job within the studio. Please continue to watch this series, The Day in the Life of a DI Developer, for more demonstrations and information regarding Talon Studio.